guys imagine I am just from school here and I'm supposed to go like okay I'm just talking about the house the house hunting like you see from school gate I'm supposed to go like down directly like this wow let me see if it's uh, still vacant and then we check it out I think this is the best uh, place to be because they'll just be walking so let's go and check out this vacant house and then see if we are going to like it or not and maybe the price actually the price it's just a, a little bit more than just by 1000 not like a lot a lot so uh, let's go and check out that house wow i think that lady uh, lives here okay hello Johnny Mesaramka Yeah, hostel. Yeah, the only couple. Wow. This is how uh, TikTok can connect people. So we have an hostel here because uh, there is a university around this place. Just, uh, I think you had seen it. A bari. Wow. And hey, we have a very big swamp over there. <laughs> Where? Yeah, the swamp here, yote. Here, ni mmea, kumemea hivi. Wow, ina janga. Huh? Iki jana maji na kudia hivi inside. Woo, we have a. There is a very big swamp. Let me wait first for Cynthia, and then, wow, just imagine, just from here. I can see the school over there. I think uh, this will be the best place to live. Wow. We have a swamp there. <laughs> I'll go and check it out. And there is somebody who has just constructed uh, next to the swamp. A lot of hostels are around this place. Wow, well, guys, this is the place that uh, we are intending to live. Not, we are not yet sure, or I don't know if uh, somebody else has already taken uh, the house. So, wow, <laughs> it looks like a. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is very swampy extremely swampy wow uh, it is locked so so uh, yeah. wow this is the space so I want to check out this house or I'm not sure if it's here even I'll wait for this for the lady that was posting <laughs> the videos on uh, TikTok. So uh, let's have a look at this environment. Guys, where do you like? Where do you prefer? Is it uh, this environment or where we currently live? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Full of students. The compound is uh, this environment. This place is full of students. You can see those who study nursing. They have their uniforms here. Wow. Let me see. I I wonder how this place looks like when it rains. That's what I'm trying to ask myself. When it rains. How does this place look like? OMG! So, it is very swampy. Wow. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> Let's have a look. 
OMG. Yeah, the water here. You see these places? Even this, you see the septic tank here? Hey, I think it uh, gets filled very quickly because of the swamp, the swampy area. Because when there is a lot of water, definitely, it's just going to fill uh, the septic tank very quickly. Yeah, even these ones, they're just meant for students. Because you can see by how small they are. By how small they are. Wow. By the way, we have a very big uh, university around here. And one thing that I am planning to do, by the way, I have not yet inquired. I am planning to do a teaching course there. There is this one-year course that when you go and study, it's, uh, I think they teach you a course of work, something like that, how to prepare timetables and everything. And then once you are done with that one-year uh, course, you can actually, uh, not you can, you have to go to, well, oh, and why did I even uh, pass? It is very swampy. I need to like go around or no. I can just uh, skip here. Whoa. Yeah, a car got stuck here. So there is this one course. Uh, it's uh, always offered. It's only offered in one school in Kenya. Only one and it's in Nairobi. So I was told by my cousin who also wants to do the same course that University of Eldoret has introduced it. So one day when I'm ready, when I have the money, I'll go and ask about the course because I did I did uh, computer information systems and there are no jobs so definitely I can't look for a job other than I don't even know how to describe it I want I just want to look at this place at the, at the environment over here I don't even know if I'm still going to go to to the dispensary hey the place is swampy this is the swamp that i was telling you i don't even know what it's called Ooh, you have to keep jumping and jumping and jumping oh my god omg look at this place i think when it rained uh, the other time it carried most of the things because this place is a little bit clear this is the place i was telling you of course you can't step here because you will get you will sink so i was telling you about the story of this course that i want to go and do uh, the teaching so that i can be able to teach in a college or a university basically to become a lecturer so there is a course that you have to do apart from the course which i did there is that one course that i'm supposed to do so that i can be able to teach in any any school any not only just school but a college in kenya that's what i need to do now that i have tried for almost eight years applying for jobs and i have never had one even uh, an internship I have never had one so when I do this course I'll be required to go for teaching practice and after I go for a teaching practice I can be able to be employed in a school even if it's internship college or university that's what I I meant yeah for teaching in primary school and call and high school it's uh, something different I, I don't know if this land belongs to anybody because now oh it's so big oh I think this is where they also get the jambis you see these uh, mats that Muslims like sitting on them yeah they get them from here also yeah they use this to make those jambis I don't know what it's called in English English is not my first language so I am glad after school now I want to check out the house and then go to the dispensary check on something and then now oh my god <laughs> if anybody's cow gets inside here for real it will 
get stuck. So I didn't even ask if there are animals here. I think I should have I should have asked. This is someone's uh, land. Oh my god. Whoever owns this land, I feel for him or for her because it's just next to a water body. Yeah, at least it has dried now. We can step on it. So guys, uh this is the beautiful country. Beautiful Kenya. Beautiful Eldorado. I can see some white stuffs there. I don't know what they are. I think I need to vlog a lot in Eldoret because now there are so many places before the children close school. Wow! Imagine the swamp goes up to the other end. It's so big. It's so big. Wow! OMG, we need to look. I think this lady was far because I saw her advertising the house on TikTok. And now she told me to wait for her here. Oh, now I need to jump again, but this time round it's very far. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did I pass? <laughs> Full of water. Full of Vasa. So I need to go back. What do you think of uh, this place that I want to move into? Yeah, first and foremost, if the house is still empty, what I love to do is uh, we are going to reduce. Ah, I stepped on water. So. Uh, what, how it's going to help us, you know, we pay 5,000 every month for the children's uh, transport. So if we move here, that 5,000 will go to the school fees. We will not have to pay any uh, transport because even if I stand from here, I can see the school gate over there. It's not far. And yeah, that school is actually very expensive. But as parents, you sacrifice for your children to get a uh, good foundation. You know, foundation is everything. And then when they get to maybe grade four, five, six, seven, they can even go to a public school. So it's always good to invest on your children when they are still young, invest on their education. Once the foundation is perfect, it's good. Foundation only is everything. After there, then uh, they can actually go to any other school. It doesn't matter where it's located. So, yeah, we will keep pushing and pushing. And I'm glad that, uh, anyway, let me go and see if the lady arrived. If she didn't come, I don't know. 